My story with the violin began when I was eight years old. I was taught the instrument by my father. I grew up at a time when parenting was very authoritative and strict, nothing like what it is today. I was forced to practice playing the violin daily for an hour each day. Though at that time, this instrument was not so much of a passion to me. Instead, I preferred learning the guitar, but I had no choice. It was more of a parent's decision rather than my own. So I had to go through with this regimental training for 10 long years until I was studying in school. The moment I started my working career, I stopped playing the violin and stopped practicing. It was more of a kind of a rebellious act rather than a situation where I was too occupied uh, pursuing my working career. Those years when I grew learning the violin, we did not have the internet and exposure to learn and listen to music and only relied on attending music concerts, which was very limited and, of course, very expensive. In later years, when the internet began to gain momentum, I had a lot more exposure to watching violin concerts and programs online. That's where the motivation and passion to, to play the violin again grew. And then, of course, I continued my violin studies. The 10 years of rigorous training when I was in school had already made a deep-rooted impact on my knowledge and technique of playing the instrument. And I really realized that it all came back. With a little practice, I got my touch, my touch returned, and I began playing like I used to uh, when I was younger. I also got into teaching, which further drove the passion. So now, uh, after several years, the violin has become very dear to me, and I really would like to pass on my experience and knowledge to people who would like to learn this beautiful instrument. Today, we have all the tools on the internet to learn, as well as the music to watch and listen, to which uh, motivates us to pursue these talents. You know, it helps to begin the learning process at an early age. But at the same time, it is never too late to learn the violin or anything for that matter. It's not about the ability to perform like a maestro, but it is just about enjoying playing this beautiful instrument and, of course, enjoying music.